Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me and I wanted to show you this week's freebie and then show you something that we made using the freebie. So it is the December daily numbers, or I guess you could use this for an advent calendar, but it has numbers 1 through 31 and then each one has a little different little image on there. And then down at the bottom we have the December calendar. And then I just threw in a couple of more like Merry Christmas and a little snowbird, uh, holly berry, and then this little Santa and the reindeer, and then a Merry Christmas with Santa coming up the, com going down the chimney, not coming up, he's going down. So that is this week's freebie. Yeah. Now keep in mind that you do have to be a subscriber to our channel in order to download these freebies. All you have to do is click that red subscribe button. That is it. You don't have to do anything else. We're not going to bug you. We're not going to send you anything. Just subscribe if you want to download the freebies. The link will be directly below. And then this is what we made using that. Now this is the paper collection from Graphic 45. Uh, what is the name of it? Let me look. Oh, it's right here. Hold on. I'm grabbing the top. It is called Christmas Time. And it's a very pretty collection. I loved this. Old Father Christmas. Love that. So we've just put some lace and things on here. And then if you open up, there's a pocket right here in the front. And that's our little calendar that we've got there so then i just started out and this one i didn't put anything on i'm going to leave this one just for like the introductory of the little album and so i just kind of stuck a few little things on there nothing else you can always write on the top of that it's not a dark green and then here starts our day one so that's december 1st and then i just took this little um print and this is from uh Kara brandon does uh creations sorry i have so many things floating around in my mind right now but and i will link her etsy store down below that that's from her one of her paper uh pieces and i just cut it out and made it a little tuck spot i haven't put a journaling card in there yet but i will and then this is just a little extra piece of paper that i tucked in there Put a little bit of things on the back so it wouldn't be just stark white. And then here, just got some book pages and things. And that's number two. So that's day two. There's day three. I'm not going to explain everything that I've got on here and where they come from. Um, I do that a little bit more detailed in the video that I will be uploading tomorrow showing how to make this. So right now I'm just going to flip through it and show you the numbers that we put on here. There's day four. And then this is the back, of course, of this vellum. And I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that showing. If you did, you could always put something over it. So there's day four. And then this little guy, I glued him all the way down. He's supposed to be glued all the way down anyway. It looks like he's trying to stick up a little bit. So we'll put a little glue in there. And then over here, we've got day five. And then I just put a few little things on that page. And here is day six. And I have a little tuck spot. I just, you know, tore that out by hand. Got a little tuck spot here. And I put a couple of little journaling cards in there. This one is from, oh, I can't remember what digital that's from. I'll try to link it below if I remember. This one is from Hello Susan. That's one of her digital pieces. I think that is from my porch prints right there. And then this is from our printable, our freebie for this week. So there's the six. And then I've got this is from my porch prints that I just cut around that. And then this is some of the stickers from this paper collection, the Graphic 45. This is from uh, Cara Brandon Design uh, Creations. I always try to say designs. And then that's just a piece of paper that I dyed. There's number seven. And then this page, I put a little pocket at the bottom. I left that kind of as is. You can do journaling on here, or you can write on there, or just put an extra piece of paper there if you want. So that's number eight. Sorry, I've got glue everywhere and ink on my hands. 
I've been working all day with these books. There is number nine, so that's day nine, and we just have a little uh, printable stuck there. And then here, this has got a little side tuck, and I just cut that piece out. And this is from Echo Park paper pad, and I just tuck that in there. So that's day 10, little puppy there. And then this is the little snowballs. They're rolling up a big snowball, I guess, to make a snowman. It's day 11. It says cold outside, and it's got little mittens on it. And then here is 12. They're having a snowball fight, so it just happened that I had one of those stickers. So that's 12. 13. This, again, is from Carrie. Kara. I think it's Kara Brandon Creations. This paper is as well. And I will be showing you that full collection here in just a minute. So that's day 13 with the little kitties coming out of the stock, and I think that's so cute. And then this is day 14, and I just made a little vellum pocket at the bottom. And I've got just some little tags in there, but I will, I'm will i going to go ahead and decorate the top a little bit more. I just didn't when I was making it. And then that's day 14. Here's 15. And Winter Wonderland. And then 16. It says Hello Winter. And then there's 17. Just some little a little tear out of some paper and then here's 18 and this did I make that a pocket no so there's 18 just some little torn pieces of paper 19 with a little Christmas tree and then Santa and he's holding a little Christmas tree and this is going to be 19 this and this and I didn't want to cover any of that I just thought that was so pretty but you could still jot some things around in the edges if you wanted and then this is 20 and it's just got a little side tuck and then in the little side tuck we have a little notebook just a little sewn notebook and then this is a little pocket right here and let's see if I have anything that I can tuck in there to show you that's a little pocket so that's a little pocket right there I just haven't made my tag for it yet because I haven't decided exactly what kind of tag I want to make so that just tucks back in there and then this is 21 and it has a little pocket right here at the bottom too with the vellum that you can put some little tags journaling cards in and then here's 22 just uh, um, Santa and this is from the sticker collection from Christmas time and then this is from the Echo Park stickers that I had snuggle it says so this will be 22 front and back and then this is 23, so that's a little sticker from that Echo Park collection. This is from Kara Brandon Designs, and I think, I'm looking at that now, I think I have that upside down. Oh well, when I write over it, nobody will know the difference. So that is 23 right there, and this does have a little side tuck that you could tuck some little tags in if you wanted. And then here's 24, right there, 25. I just did a little cluster on both pages. And this is 25 as well, this side and this side. And that's Kara Brandon uh, Creations. But she sent me another digital for this collection. She said that she had just created it, and it is so pretty. So then this is day 26. Here is 27. And it's got a little pocket here that you can put some tags and things in. I just haven't made all my tags yet. And then it's on vellum. And you can write on vellum as long as you use a pen that is, you know, not, it's not like a jelly pen or whatever one that's kind of permanent. So it's 27. And then this is just a freebie. This is just a free page. I didn't put any numbers on that one. It has a little tuck on the back. And there's 28 and it has a pocket right there. I just cut that out and put it there and then there is 29 it has a little tuck and a little snow and keep cozy and then this page right here is just another freebie and I just put some stickers on each side of it then this is page 30 and it actually has a little secret pocket that goes up that way so you could tuck some little things in there if you wanted to. You could write here, journal here. 
So that is 30 and there is 31. And then in the back, there's just a little pocket with some journaling cards in that. So that is what I made using this freebie. And like I said, the uh, tutorial for this will be up tomorrow. Uh, I've got it done. I just haven't got it edited yet. So it'll be up tomorrow. But if you want this freebie, you can go over, go to, directly below to the link, click on that, go over to our blog, and you can download this and make you a uh, December daily journal if you'd like. Or use it for whatever you want. It doesn't matter with me. It's yours once you download it. Now let me show you her collection. And I think I've got all the pages printed out. I believe I do. So I'm going to lay that aside. There is a beautiful page. This, I've just got it printed on copy paper. So if it looks a little flimsy, that's why. You can print it on whatever paper you want. There's that one. I really like that. You'll see some of these images that I used in that little book. Look at that one. Isn't that cute? And this one, there's the little snowball fight. Love the trees. They're, they're really pretty. And then this one I actually cut, tore a little page, a little piece out and used it. But you can see what the page looks like. It's very pretty. And then this one. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. And then here. I love this. I haven't brought myself to cut this one up yet or tear it up. That is pretty. Even though I can print it out again. But it's just so pretty. And then that one. Look at those doilies. They look so real. They look so real. Pretty. This one, the snow and all that. It's pretty. You could cut these little words out and use them separately if you wanted to. And then the hot cocoa and coffee cups. There's more doilies. So she gives you a ton. Oh, and I printed on the back of these. This is one of her pages too and I printed that on the back. I just thought that was really pretty to print on the back. And then here are the small tags. These are the large tags. There, isn't that pretty? Love those little babies. And then here is another thing of large tags. I mean, telling you, this is jam-packed full. Look at that. And then here are some ephemera pieces. Really pretty. And then there, more ephemera. And this actually matches one of our days in our in our little freebie. Or in our freebie. Alright, and then she's got some um, little pockets. Or little envelopes, these are, I guess. You could use some for little pockets or envelopes or both. Depending on how you glued them down. Now, this is what I printed on the back of my sheets. Because it's it's kind of pale, so you could write on this. So it's a really good backing to print on the back of your sheets. And then you have a dark one, if you want to use dark. And then you have a lighter brown one that's really pretty. Okay? Alright, so that is her collection. Uh, thank you so much, Kara, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. You guys go over and check her store out. I will link that below. Grab this collection, because look at that. Look at all the pages that you get. It is full, I'm telling you. Alright, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber, in order to go over and print out the freebie. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.